Okay, so now we talked about having a Microsoft account, downloading OneNote, and now we want to talk about using OneNote. So to use OneNote, you first got to go and open the application. OneNote. You got to type in OneNote in the search bar, or if you know the location, you can just go um, and open it from the location itself. So I open up OneNote. As we said, it is used as a regular notebook. Okay, so I'm not going to rate it now. I'll be rating it later for the purpose of continuing this video. Okay, so we created the Microsoft account. To enter the Microsoft account you created, I'm going to use my Gmail account. As you can see, I'm going to use my Gmail account and click on continue. Until it loads and opens, okay. So now it is open. So as you see, we have here this toolbar, which looks a little bit like the toolbar from Word document or any word processing document. Okay. If you see this, I'm going to delete all of this. So I can tell you how to use it from scratch. Okay. So here you see there is Khalid's notebook. This is my notebook, okay? You can, in this section, there is, I'm going to delete this, okay, in this section. We here have a notebook. This is my notebook, okay? There are no sections. This is Khalid's notebook. There are no sections here, no pages, no nothing. So what I would do is, I would add a section, okay? So I would name this section introduction, so I can introduce myself. And here, we have one page. So I have one section and one page. From here, I can add sections and pages. So I'm going to add another section. I'm going to call it maybe maps. Add another section, and I'm going to call it maybe uh, global warming. Um, and then I'm going to add another section, and maybe I'm going to call it uh, field Sorry about that field trip. Field trip to um, IMG world. I would, maybe I'd call it like that, okay? And maybe I add another section, I'd call it ICT. And here, I go to the introduction. Right, there is an untitled page. So here now we know that how can we create sections? So we can go between sections this way. And here we can create pages within those sections. Just like in your notebook, you have sections and you see the same the same method is used here, colors, uh, pink, blue, and so. Uh, so in your notebooks, you have sections and you have pages, of course. In each section, there is pages. So here, let's go and try it out. So I'm going to say introduction, title page. It is, okay, let's say it is um, biography or, um, or introduction, or you can write whatever you see you deem as Convenient and here you can see it, it has the date and the time on its own So this is the page where I can write the things and if you can see here I can put my cursor anywhere and it would Give me the cursor which where I would be able to type in anywhere Anywhere I put the cursor I can type in okay, so this is something different in one note from other word processing documents, okay? So I'm going to start at the top of the page, and I'm going to write here. 
Hello. My name, no capital here. My name is Khalid. And I am happy you are visiting my page. Okay. So I would put this as an introduction. As an introduction in the introduction. And now I would write uh, a little bit about myself. I am 28 years old. Um, I teach ICT in Al Ittihad private schools. And I would write maybe my hobbies are and what's whatever it is. Okay, so I continue. I'd write a whole paragraph, an introduction about myself. If I want to write another page, which is in the introduction, I can add here another page. So you'd see I have I would have another page. I can have a title. Let's say, okay, so the introduction, I have first of all the biography. Who am I? Um, okay, I can say e-portfolio. Okay. And I would write here, okay, I would... Uh, Ignore. I would write here. Mm, this is an e-portfolio to demonstrate my work. Demonstrate my work. To my col colleagues and a lot of spelling mistakes. Colleagues and students. In this portfolio, um, in this e-portfolio, what you will find is, and I would start naming stuff what they would find and give them an introduction about the e-portfolio. So here is a biography about me and here is what the e-portfolio is going to be about, whatever it is. So here, then I would go to math. Math, I can write, um, maybe um, if we're going to have this project about trigonometry, trigonometry, I would write trigonometry, and then make it, maybe I would write here the, uh, I can use colors, I can use uh, any of those editing uh, tools up there. Uh, I would use maybe blue as an introduction. Um, uh, 20 might be good. Okay, okay, so I would use involve, trigonometry. Okay, so I would say here, definition. Okay, definition. Then I would remove the blue color. Here, uh, no color. And maybe write in 60. Trigonometry, I would remove the bold to. You see, it's trigonom. Nometry is the science of and etc. Okay, and here I can add pictures. I would go to insert. Um, I can add here a picture from file, from camera, or from online. So I can go on a website from Google and add a picture. Since it's using Internet Explorer, it's going to take some time loading. You know, Internet Explorer is not the best uh, web browser. So let's go from file. I can add pictures. From file. Um, uh, let's say here, which is uh, not what's it called. Not relevant, but just to show, to show you how to insert a picture. Okay, so I can insert it here. I can move it. Uh, um, I can move it around. Okay, and I can cut and paste it here. And as you can see here, you can zoom out as much as you want, and it's no problem. So you can use all of this enormous white page the way you want to okay you can zoom in and out you can put the cursor anywhere you can go like this you can you can zoom out until infinity if you can see here uh, well it's not infinity but like you can see how small it is right here so this is how you use OneNote. so you add a picture you can add it here you can also add a 
a video from YouTube, you can add a link. So let's go to online video and I'm going to go to, to uh, YouTube and get a video and post it here. And you can put the video in this page. Okay, so let's go to YouTube. Let's search for trigonometry. Okay, let's search for trigonometry YouTube. Okay, so this is from Khan Academy. I can take this video, as you can see, copy the link. I would just copy the link. I would go here, post the link. Okay. And I have the video here and I can watch it here. Here. Welcome to the presentation on basic trigonometry. Sorry. Okay, so I go here. Here's the video. It puts here. And I can put pictures here as as I showed you the Madhasana Ta'alam al the picture. I added it here. So here you can add your work. You can um, talk about it. You can add what's it called. Uh, titles, subtitles, uh, you can add this video. It's taking some time, but when it loads... Welcome to the presentation yeah, yeah. So on it's basic playing. trigonometry. Sorry it's taken so long to get a new video out, but I had a lot of family in town. So yeah, as you can see, you can put this up here and you can play it. And the, the people themselves, why is this uh, software good for an e-portfolio? Is that you can add videos here. You can add other videos from other websites. Um, you can add pictures. You can add websites. You can... Um, what's it called? You can edit the page in uh, multiple ways. So, and you can see here you have, you can use this whole page. You can use a very large font to make use of the size. So yeah, you can basically do a lot of things with, uh, with this software. Okay, so I deleted this one. So this is maths for global warming. So what you do is you create sections and within those sections you have pages and you write in those pages this is how you use the software i hope this was clear for you and if you have any other questions you can ask me and you can also explore the software itself from here you can add tables of course this is also a helpful thing so you can add a table here um uh, yeah and one, one more thing you can move those, those things this whole box so if i write here i can i can also move it the later so I'm going to uh, cut this table remove it from here okay uh, so as you can see I'm going to paste it back here okay never mind it didn't paste but what I want you to see is I can write here Okay, um, okay I, I don't know what's actually happening. I think I would have to restart the software to continue using it, but you get the point. Um, I can, if I write here or I write here, I can write anywhere, and then I can move this text box. The one I write in, I can move it anywhere I would like to. Okay. So this is how you use it, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I hope everything is clear for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And now go and watch the other video, creating an e-portfolio.